Grace to and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. The Beatitude or Blessing Sayings are also referred to through translation by their beginning words, which can also be translated as happy are they. But there's a new list of these happy are they sayings in town these days. For the reality that Jesus' Beatitudes describe is certainly not from the world in which I live in. Are the humble or the meek really holding title to the property of the earth? Or are they simply relocated in the name of progress or eminent domain? Will those who mourn be comforted? Or are they given three days off work with the expectation when they come back, the past is in the past and we move on into the future? Will the pure of heart really see God or will they be ridiculed as not being very realistic or being tremendously naive? Our, our blessing sayings in the world today read more like this. Blessed are the people who know people for they will receive the jobs. Blessed are the people who are linked in for their qualifications and aspirations will get vast publicity. And blessed are those who help themselves, throwing all caution to the wind, not worrying about who they trample on for they will get what they want. The world that Jesus lifts up is not the world we live in or that we attempt to make for ourselves because it's easier and possibly more successful to be a Roman in the Roman world than to be a Christian standing in the middle of the arena with lions around you. But Jesus doesn't just describe a different world. He is the incarnation or the embodiment of this world in flesh. And Jesus does not insist that we become these people who are starving for justice or who are risking life and limb for peace or who are assisting others in foreign lands with viruses such as Ebola. But what he says is that these people will be blessed by God. That the favor of God rests upon them, the eye of God is on them, and in the end, they will be happy because they have striven to embody the kingdom of God that Jesus is describing. Regardless of whether or not they are successful or are recognized for their efforts, for what they've accomplished, or even if they have failed to accomplish anything of gigantic proportions. Why would a reporter go to Syria these days and risk abduction and possible death, but to let the world know of the injustices and atrocities against humanity that are going on there? Why would doctors and nurses travel to East Africa and risk infection and death, if not to respond to the call to serve humanity through the medical arts? Why do law enforcement officers and military personnel put their lives on the line every day if not to keep the delicate balance of peace in our society and in the world? Martin Luther is said to have said this about Christian vocations. He said that a Christian vocation is any vocation that a Christian finds him or herself in. And that is because a Christian will bring their faith with them in what they do and how they do it. If we look at that definition, there are a whole lot of saints in the world who have lived are living and will live. 
because the miracles performed by these saints these days are done every day in places like hospitals and schools, daycare centers and in factories, in banks and on the highways, wherever one human being touches another human being with the loving word of God in action. Blessed are they in meekness, in peace, through justice, and in grief, whatever the situation might be. And if there is any kind of exhortation or, or command of Jesus given in these Beatitudes, it is for those of us who don't live on the fringe of life to hear these sayings as a call to us to be in solidarity with those who do live in the fringe of life. For maybe by our presence, they will be blessed. But certainly by our presence, we will be blessed. Amen.